how to import animations from Blender into After Effects. I know this looks very difficult, but trust me, it literally takes about five steps. And if I can do it, you guys definitely can. So let's get right into this. Okay guys, so the first step is to get yourself into Blender and get the animation that you've made. So you may have imported it from a website called Sketchfab or you may have just made it yourself. This, I'd love to say that I made this, but not got the talent for that yet. So I imported this one from Sketchfab. It's a good website if you want 3D animations for After Effects. Uh, I imported this Millennium Falcon that walks uh, around, looking pretty nice. So I want to export this and get this into After Effects. So how do I do that? So I go up to File, and then go down to Export, and then Wavefront.obj. Very important you select this uh, selection. Go uh, click on that, and then go to Desktop, and you see this button here. You want to create a new file, because if you don't do this, there's going to be loads of files all over your desktop or in a random file. And trust me, you don't want that. It's a pain in the ass to clean up. So click on this file here, press the plus button, and just name it. Uh, there you go. Your, your object. Click into this and press, uh, yeah, name it whatever you want. So I'll just, yeah, name it that. Make sure that you scroll down here and you click animation. This is absolutely integral or else it will not work. So click animation and then click export wavefront.obj. Now, as you can see on my desktop here, it's got loads of shit on it, but don't mind that. Now we click into this file here, it's got all the files that we need. Beautiful, so now go into After Effects, create a new composition like I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I'll just take it 1080 by 1080, and then add a new solid layer by pressing Control and Y on the keyboard. I'll make it black. And then go up to Effects and Presets up here, and click Elements and then just drag and drop it onto the layer. Now I know some of you guys are already panicking right now because I've just mentioned the Element 3D plugin and you don't have it, do you? You don't have it, I know you don't. Uh, so basically, to solve this problem, I've got a Discord server which gives out plugins completely for free from Glitchify all the way up to Element. So get yourselves in there, I've left a link in the description down below. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Okay, enough of that waffle. Once you've got Element on the layer, go up to Scene Setup and then come up here to File import and then 3d sequence press on that and then find the file that we saved uh, our animation to here mine's a million falcon and just click on the first one that comes up there we go press ok and then it should import some of your materials uh, you're probably thinking where the hell is it why is it so small come down here to normalize size and click on that box there and bang you've got your animation in all of its glory <clears throat> now you can obviously add some environments to it if you've got those. I'm going to add this. Yeah, this one will do. Once I've done that, I'm going to press OK. And as you can see, it's in my sequence right now. And does it move? You bet it does. You bet it does. I'll put it on quarter view so you guys can see a bit better. Uh, my computer's decided to have an absolute off day right now. So yeah, as you can see, it does move once it's loaded up properly. And you can add a nice little scene around this. Maybe add a bit of Star Wars theme, uh, other Millennium Falcons walking around as well. So yeah, you could really, the world's your oyster with this. This is serious, this is high level stuff. So that's pretty much the end of the video guys. You can add whatever you want to it. This is just me merely getting you from A in Blender into B. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please smash a like button and a subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of this year. It's gonna be difficult, but I know that if we push hard, can do this. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.